working in 20 states across the country. Uh, all of the material from all of the states is brought to our central warehouse. We have one regional warehouse for Northeast India in Guwahati and one for East India in Jamshedpur. So material from Dharkand Bihar goes there, from Northeast goes to Guwahati. After segregation of material, the material is brought here. Once the material is brought here, as you can see, there are different bays created for different types of items. Like right behind me, this is the IT material bay. So you can see the old CRT monitors, the CPUs, keyboard, mouse, UPS, etc. behind me. So similarly, there are different bays for different types of items. All the material is brought here, segregated and stored in these different bays. Out of these certain material, which is material which can be repaired or reused. When these materials are repaired and reused, uh, we have a small refurbishing zone where we check for repairability or refurbishability. So at a first level check happens that okay, this material can be repaired or used. That material is then sent to a refurbishment wing which is in Kolkata uh, and there the material gets refurbished and then resold in the market. What material cannot be refurbished, which cannot be reused, that material is then onwards sent for recycling. What basically we mean by recycling is that all these materials are broken down into its basic raw materials which is your metals, plastics and glass. If I take uh, any product for example, if I take this keyboard for example for instance, this keyboard has three or four major components. It has a plastic body, right? It has a board inside it, what we call printed circuit board. It has an iron frame and some other uh, uh, copper and aluminium sort of non-ferrous metals. So when a keyboard is broken, the plastic is separated first from recycling manually. Then the printed circuit board goes for shredding and finally goes for precious metal extraction where we recover gold, silver, etc. out of it. The iron is simply manually dismantled and then sent for treatment at a smelting unit and in an iron foundry. And that's how the recycling process happens. One thing in, the important we need to remember about electronic waste is that electronic waste contains certain hazardous elements which if not recycled properly causes a lot of environmental damage and health issues. The whole purpose of this facility is to identify the material containing the hazardous element and assure that that hazardous element is sent to the right place for treatment. Like you see in the facility you will see we have lead acid batteries which have lead as a hazardous element you have uh, monitors behind you which also have lead you have printers which have toner cartridges which have lead and so on and so forth so there are various hazardous items to so be ensured that all the materials are removed the hazardous elements are removed and sent for treatment separately and then the product goes for recycling where raw materials such as metals plastics and glass are recovered and they are reused for making new products 